Uh, hey, Cosplay Alliance, I am here for a very special discussion. I'm here with Elemental Cosplay, Official Joy Goblin, and Sean Sharma uh, from the SAG Board of Directors and Negotiating Committee. And we're going to discuss the strike and how cosplayers can support. You know, Chris, Lacey, and I are doing this because we're super fans of a lot of the work that a lot of the union members do. And what are some of the things that we as fans can do to support the strikes the most? Well, obviously, even just doing something like this that gives us a platform and access to your communities to share information and answer questions and address things is so huge, you know, like, so, it, so hats off to you for, you know, for doing this, for giving us a chance to be heard. Um, so that one way is just amplifying those messages and those voices, which I know, Sam, you've been awesome about, about making sure that you know, people are directing their attention where it really should be directed right now, which is that those that are going through hardship as a result of not being treated fairly, especially if they're responsible for some of the products that we all love and want to celebrate and all of that. And so part of how we can stand for ourselves is by, you know, these big companies that are, are not treating us fairly and that are not negotiating with us in good faith is to say, okay, you own all of these products, you own all of this intellectual property, um, you don't get to benefit from those right now. And you can't make new great stuff that people would enjoy with us because we won't help you do that. So that's what a strike is about. A strike is about drying up their ability to make product without us and to not promote the product that they already have without us because the product they already have becomes much more valuable when they can't make new product. So part of why our strike rules are not only saying you can't work for any struck company under any kind of struck contract jurisdiction, you also can't promote any past work or current work because that stuff becomes much more valuable when they can't make new stuff. So everybody who's out there doing cosplay in particular, I can only imagine how like disruptive and frustrating it might feel that these things that you love so much that you know the union is saying please don't promote stuff that gives it more value and visibility when they're trying to make money off of our performances but not pay us appropriately but for everyone the beyond the cow podcast is available on all major podcast platforms